Good morning. Good morning. <clears throat> Good morning, everybody. Good morning, people of God. This is Dr. DJ Robinson broadcasting this morning, Monday, January 9th, 2023. I just want to tell each and every one of you that God loves you and that God is still on the throne, that you can be healed from any and all of your infirmities. I was laying in the bed this morning and I was thinking and uh, feeling kind of down and the Lord told me to tell all of us well he said to me that God when you are in a place of sin or sinfulness if it be by word, by deed, by thoughts, when you keep company with people who are sinful, right? And, and what is sin, right? Sin is anything that causes you to miss the goal or to miss the target for which God is shooting you forth so he in Isaiah says he takes me as an arrow out of his quiver right and he shoots me forward sin is the wind or the storm or something that will cause your uh, path to be shifted to be shifted over it causes your trajectory to shift and the wind or the storm or the rain or whatever the elements of life right that come they cause you to miss that mark, to miss that goal. So whatever is causing you to miss the goal, God has shot us forth. And I got this word from a friend. God has put us and pulled us out as an arrow in his quiver and, and shot us forth. And because we didn't understand the assignment, we didn't understand the target, we, we sinned, we missed the mark we missed the target and so God says that when you are keeping company with people who constantly miss the target who are not in commune with God right when you when you yourself have fallen out of communication with God because the Bible says that bad company corrupts good character and so the message that God gave me this morning to give people is, and, and especially those of us who, who are ordained, here it is, to serve God. Those of us who are ordained with a calling on our life and recognized before mankind or recognized before the people, those of us who are in these positions um, of the institutional church. I'm very careful with how I'm saying this. The institutional church, not the ecclesia, right? But the institutional church. Those of us who have positions in the ecclesial, I mean, sorry, in the institutional church, when we operate in sin, here is the thing. God will speak through you, but God will not speak to you. Come here, Saul. When Saul took it upon himself to, when he looked at the faces of the people, and that's what causes us, let me help you preachers, that's what causes us to sin. Because we look at the faces of the people. We fear the judgment of the people more than we fear the judgment of God. And the Bible even tells us what can man do to us, right? Why should we fear man? We should fear God because God destroys both the body and the spirit and the soul, right? And so we have to take into consideration that God can destroy all of it. Man can do nothing to us. What is man but a breath to God, right? 
He doesn't have, man doesn't have anything. So we, when Saul uh, saw the faces of the people, right? He sinned against God. When David, the king, took the survey of the people, right? When we focus on the people is when we sin against God. When we focus on what we think people are going to say, what we think people are going to do, when we fear the rejection, when we fear the ostr uh, ostracizing, when we fear the, the, the uh, isolation from other people, when we begin to focus, this is why God told Jeremiah, do not look at their faces. Don't focus on the people because when you focus on the people, here it is, Saul, here it is, David, here it is, some, some of the certain prophets, right, that were false prophets or considered false prophets. When you try to appease the people, God will, here it is, God will, Saul was able to prophesy, uh, David was able to prophesy, God will speak through you, but God will not speak to you. And what a hell that is, is. even the devil himself who was created by the almighty God, God will use the devil for his glory, but will not communicate, will not sup, will not fellowship, will not, come on, that's hell. That's hell. That's the state of hell. And my encouragement for you today as I get ready to get in here is don't live in a state of hell. Get free. Get free. I was listening to Jordan Peterson uh, this morning and he said something. He said that we something like along the lines of he says we fear Getting into situations that will, leaving situations and getting into change that will make us miserable. He said, but what we should fear the most is the fact that we are miserable in the state that we are in. That if we are going to compete with anything, we have to compete with who we were yesterday. We want to compete with making ourselves better today than we were yesterday and when i came with that the lord told me this morning that if we are competing with mindsets and with thoughts and with processes that are keeping us miserable if we are competing with with uh with ideals with philosophies with with people with focusing on people if we are competing and we are dealing in a place of sin and living in a place of hell the best way to get win that game right is to quit is to quit Seth Gooden has a book called the dip and it talks in there about strategic quitting it talks about getting rid of elements in our lives that when they're not effective, that we have to learn how to quit doing it. Don't quit before you get the results. And now that's one thing that they tell, oh, you almost there. Don't quit. Yes, we get that part. But if this is not working for me, if the methods that I'm using, if the drugs that I'm using, if the philosophies that I'm using, if they are not working for my good, then I have to, and get, I have to, here it is, since we don't like the word quit, I have to surrender to God. I quit. I quit. I quit. I quit wrestling. I quit uh, ascribing to people the glory that is due to God. I'm going to quit looking at other people's faces. I'm going to quit taking other people's opinions to my to heart when it's really only God that can give me my affirmations. When I listen to God, God affirms me. So I'm going to quit looking for affirmation in man. I'm going to begin looking for affirmation in God. I'm going to quit playing. Come on, quit playing around with the things of God. That's for somebody. Stop playing. Stop playing. I'm going to quit lying to myself. Quit lying to God about who I am. Strategic quitting. Because when you refuse to surrender 
to God. When you refuse to do things God way, when you succumb to the faces and the and the philosophies and the opinions of the created thing rather than the creator, we fall into sin. And here's the thing, because we are ordained for a specific purpose, God will still use us for his glory, right? He will still move through us, but he will not move to us. He will still speak through us, but he will not speak to us. That's hell. Get out of hell. Somebody hashtag that when y'all come back and look at this. Get out of hell. Stop looking at other people's faces and get into God's face. Stop fearing what man can do to us because what is mankind but a breath? Humanity has no heaven, has no hell to put us in or the power to pull us out. Stop making other people's opinions your God. This is Dr. DJ Robinson. I pray that you have strength in your body. I pray that you have wisdom in your mind and I pray that you have peace in your soul. Remember that God loves you and I do too. And may God be with you until we meet again. God bless you.